Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Brandon Swims, and we're finally back with another video. This video today is going to be a little update video, so strap in, get a snack, because I have some stories to tell. Life has been pretty rough the past couple of years, but the good times have highly outweighed the bad times for sure. However, I have not provided you guys with a life update in quite some time, so allow me to take this time to catch you up on what has been going on in the Swims household. As many of you know, I was pretty consistent with uploading until about November of 2020, shortly before I got married. In 2020, I really started to struggle with my mental illness and depression pretty badly before Brittany and I got married. Since then, I've taken some time off of content creation with the occasional streamer video here and there. I would love to be more consistent as I believe I'm in a place in life finally where I can accomplish that. Over the last three years, my mental health has really improved and I've been able to discover a lot about me and who I am emotionally. I think the person that I have to thank the most about that is the lovely woman who wishes to see me do nothing but succeed, Brittany, aka Mrs. Swims. She has been an incredible person to be with over the last five years we've been together, and she really is one of the most amazing people I've ever come to know. Things in our relationship have been great over the five years that we've been together, but there's something that has loomed heavy on our heart since October of 2019. In October of 2019, Brittany and I experienced a miscarriage, and we had no idea how impactful that event would be on our lives and our relationship together. This event is something that has torn us apart, both mentally and physically, but it is also something that has brought us closer together and allowed us to discover who we are as a couple and where our strengths lie. Over the past year or so, we've become more vocal about the experience that we had with a miscarriage and trying for a kid. As time has gone on, we have struggled over the last two years to be able to conceive a child. We did not know how impactful that miscarriage would be on our lives today. We have finally decided to go forward with getting medical help and getting looked at and examined to see what we can do to move trying to conceive a child in a positive direction. On the flip side, we've been able to medically discover that there are things that are a little bit off about both of us and move in a positive direction about getting help and seeking help for those. When people talk about pregnancy, the only thing that you seem to hear is how easy it is to get pregnant. This is something that I wish people would talk about more often is the other side, how difficult it may be to get pregnant. It is incredibly difficult sometimes for people to conceive children, and I wish that that was something that was talked about more and taught about more in education. However, through Brittany and I being more open and outwardly expressive of our struggle, we hope that one day we could be a possible positive influence and a resource for others that may have gone through this thing or that are going through the same thing that we are currently struggling with. However, there has been a lot of positives compared to the negatives in our life. That is just a small hiccup in the road. Since our time together, since Brittany and I have got married, we got married in 2020. We've bought a new car. It's been incredible to us as far as saving costs for maintenance and fuel has been. We will be spending our third year married together this November. We just became an aunt and uncle to a beautiful little boy that my sister gave birth to. We have four beautiful pets, Thor, Loki, Heimdall, and Luna, and they constantly make life interesting and a treat. We've also been incredibly lucky to be able to see our friends quite frequently and maintain strong relationships with them and have a great support system of people around us. If you are a part of our lives, whether it be daily, monthly, or periodically, just know that we love you and you are so appreciated by us and I don't know what we would do without you. So for those of you that are a part of our lives, thank you. As some of you may know, my parents moved to South Carolina in 2021, which was tough because I'm always used to my parents being around whenever I needed them. However, this year, Brittany and I were so lucky to be able to go down and spend Christmas with them, which was a fantastic time. And I love still being able to be close with my parents, no matter how far they live. They are constantly checking in on us and I love them and thank them for that. These are some of the many things that have happened recently in our lives. I hope you enjoy catching up on where we've been in the recent years and hope that we can continue to be more connected as this year in 2023 progresses. If you guys did not know, I've been uploading a lot of movie reviews on TikTok and Instagram and would love if you checked those out. I will be putting my TikTok down in the description, so please check those out and let me know what content you would like to see and what movies you would like to see reviewed. This year, I am attempting to be more consistent with uploads, and I'm planning on trying to do two TikTok movie reviews a week, and one YouTube video, and one stream a week. I hope that this year, this is something I can be more consistent with, but not beat myself up if I miss a day or miss an upload once a week. This has been the Life Update of 2023 with Brandon Swims. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace!